I don't know what happened. Welcome to the show. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Alive. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Did yours freeze? No. No, mine froze. Yeah, no, it would have worked, right? That would have been awesome if you would have been like... Well, well actually, you can't see. See, I can see you guys. Right, I couldn't see you, so... Oh, it was like, you freezy. Yeah. Man. <laughs> you notice uh, last week I left the intro because... It was, yeah, I did. It was just oh, too good right. not to leave it in. <laughs> Freddie had to go. That was a rough week, boy. <laughs> a rough night. So much going on, though. And now, let's start the damn show. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, one and all, to the 160th reading of the Black Link Collective Podcast. Proudly broadcasting live from the Palatial EC studios scattered all across the state of South Carolina. We're so glad you're here. You can always catch us on YouTube, Insta, Facebook, X, and all your favorite podcast platforms. And of course, blcpodcast.com, which is still a website. Yeah. And now, it's everyone's favorite DEI hire. It's Fred. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight to it, Fred, tonight. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been hired as a diversity hire. I don't think so. <laughs> well, this is the first time for what is, what is the I've been, I've been, diversity, I've been, equity, it, equality, no, and inclusion, diversity, equality, and inclusion. Equality and inclusion. Yeah. Okay. Equality. So, so you, technically, you were yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been I've been the only black guy at a couple jobs though. Right. Like mean, if the cops show up, you you gotta talk for all of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all of us methods. Yeah. They all, they all uh, you. They talk. They talk for me. They talk for me. <laughs> and introducing Alan Ot. That's right. The crowd's with me today. Ot Dizzle. Again. Oh uh, shizzle. For shizzle and and dizzle. Yeah, for sure. And drizzle because it's raining like and crazy. But surviving. We're in the middle of surviving a hurricane, ladies and gentlemen. So. Storm of the century. If this, if you don't ever hear this, if it's found at the bottom of the ocean, this that's why. <laughs> this this one recording on the internet. <laughs> Join us. Join us next week in our watery grave. Yeah, oh. watery grave. <laughs> that's still a good one. So welcome to the show, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are so glad you're here. We're so glad that none of us have met a watery grave yet. No. Hopefully we'll still be here next week, yep. but we'll find out we'll what's survive. going on. Well, Fred, you had me worried last when you told me earlier that you were like, you know, earlier last week you were like, "I'm going right. on a trip." Oh it's yeah, me and yeah. the boys, me and some of the boys, yeah. and we don't know when we'll be back, and we also don't know where we're going. <laughs> so, we see ya. Bigfoot. <laughs> we went. We were looking for Bigfoot in the uh, North Carolina. Oh, Mountains. there you go. Nice and dog man. <laughs> no, you know, on my annual guys golf trip annual. this weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, it was pretty good, man. It was pretty good. We had a uh, we went from Thursday through Saturday. Okay, so yeah. now last year, yeah. if I recall correctly, you guys went, and that was with Rosa Parks family. Yeah, yeah, right? like okay. someone they were Rosa Parks's distant relatives were having a right. family union or something and like one of the ladies died over there man oh damn right next door yeah right. yeah i remember that i'm surprised yeah that. yeah but uh luckily this time nobody died all right all right nobody that's good died. at least not you know physically not yet emotionally we uh we thought we were gonna get rained out but we didn't like we got up there wednesday okay where and, first like, we'll set the scene where did you, get, did oh, you guys sorry, go yeah, north? We went there. Yes, we went north, went south last year, went to Alabama last right. year. This year, we went North Carolina up to Lake ah. Lure. Lake Lure. <laughs> North Carolina, Lake Lure. What a it's place. like up in the mountains, man. It's pretty up there, man. Like, oh, yeah, no, it's a gorgeous place. Yeah. like That's a rich people the, place. Yeah. One of the uh, the first course we played, like I said, on Wednesday, it was like at the base of a mountain. So, like, you can really see the. Yeah, the height of the mountain in the backdrop and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was real cool, Beautiful. man. Serene. Yeah, we uh, 
we finished up that round and then like you know we had that was a that was drive day so uh you know everybody was like hungry and sure you know tired so because we played before we checked in like we went straight up uh, there played yeah, around straight to it you know what I'm yeah and uh so uh my buddy that i rode with he was like hey man you know you're hungry you want to go to this little restaurant right here and get something to eat? i was like hell yeah and uh like the guy who put the shit together he's like yeah i'm gonna go uh open up the house you know and you know i was like okay yeah. cool and then we asked everybody else you know y'all want to go and then like two other guys joined us but everybody else was like no I'm, we're going so so they went up to the house did whatever we're eating and we stayed there about an hour and get ready to go back and i was like nobody else came to eat and i was like shit they're picking rooms yeah, yeah like, you got the- this year. Yeah, I was like, fuck, they're picking brooms, man. And I told my buddy, I was like, hey, man, let's go. I was like, they're fucking it's too late don't now. Get fucking stuck with- yeah, yeah, it was too late. Yeah. And so we get back, and everybody, yeah, just like I said, everybody had their rooms. And I was like, all the, the party house was full. Okay. Like, there was one bed left in the party house, and it was a bunk bed, it was the bottom bunk. <laughs> you had you had to sleep with another dude, and I was like, "Like nah, I don't do that. This I don't want to do that." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like "Nah, I, I'm not sleeping on the bottom bunk, man. I don't know. It's just if it was so top you had bunk, man, you had so you had multiple houses. Yes, we had two houses. They okay. were like how many right people were on this trip? There were twelve of us. Uh, rocks. Okay, twelve people. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, you guys really yeah. were like the only ones who didn't who were yeah. suckers enough. Last year we had eight. And we only had one house, and it was like, I think it was five bedrooms, and most of the bedrooms had two beds in them. So you Alan noticed two, that they- Two, like, queen beds, so they, like- They opened up four spots, Alan, and you and I got zero of those invites, by the way. Yep, yeah. nothing. Just want to know that going. for the audience. You ain't going. You ain't I'd, go going. Some, I'd go hit the links. You ain't going. You ain't yeah. going. I could go. I could just go out there to sass yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'd be like, who are, those guys? Yeah. who are those guys who like stand at the the tea boxes and they're like, "Hey, you got a third one oh, called the, whatever." Yeah, the back and, yeah. off, the back off guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could call. Be, we'll be the jerk off guys. <laughs> and I'll be like, "I'm jerk us off. I'm touching <laughs> you with my wiener. Did. What are you going to know about that, fella?" <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to find my room, so I have to go over to the second house. So you went to a hole in one. Okay, so there's two houses. There's a party yeah. house, right? Right. Is that one the one with all the baby oil and shit in it? The, the, the no, ditty. Ditty's it's not a. It's not a. It's not a ditty off or freak oh, off. Okay. <laughs> we tee <laughs> off. We don't freak off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. If you say so. tea stands so, for testicles. I get to the second house. <laughs> everything upstairs. Everybody's in them. So like my my buddy, he took the he took the bottom bunk. Over at the other house, yep. and there was one bed left, Ooh. and it was downstairs in the basement. Buckle up, like, buckaroos! A whole unfinished basement. Oh, that's like, awesome. creepy ass basement. Creepy ass basement with like fluorescent lighting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, that's where the real parties happen. Yeah, it was like, man, like, it was like a sex dungeon, like. For real, like it was, we were like, because we're in cabins, you know, we're like cabins, right. they're houses, but they're in the woods. And the first night I went to bed, like I turned the lights out. There's no curtains on the windows. Yeah. There's no curtains in the woods, on the windows. Bro. In the so it was like, still, the, the next morning I woke up, my buddy had walked out the, the side of the, like, because he had a whole balcony out there. You have a whole balcony yeah. out there, and he walked up the balcony. I don't know. I'm I just spanking woke it. up and I'm laying and I'm scrolling. Good thing I wasn't, but I'm scrolling on my phone. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's like peering at me in the window. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, he was going to right? You want to go get something to eat? <laughs> like, I don't want to lose this again. <laughs> oh uh, uh, no! You're freaking me out. No eating for Fred I ever mean, again. But yeah, it was good though, man. We had we had fun. We had fun. Uh, nobody hurt themselves. 
Good. There was one guy who had hurt himself previously before the trip, and he couldn't use his right arm, left arm. Oh, oh, okay. Right. So let well, okay, hold on a second. So once again, All right, Alan and I, with, <laughs> yeah. with almost two totally <laughs> capable arms <laughs> each, <laughs> no invite, one arm golfer. You yep. would not be able to. You would not be able to hit hit the ball straighter with two you arms and this dude with one arm. He I'm was hitting the this ball. Guy you've ever met. 150 yards, 200 yards, one handed. Yeah. Just imagine if he had two hands like me. Every shot. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> no. Do you want to go? Glad man? The, I'm glad the drummer. Yeah. I'm glad the drummer from. No, I don't want to fucking go, Fred. The drummer from Def Leppard showed <laughs> yeah, up. I'm glad the, the drummer from Def Leppard had a good time. Bastard. We, we were calling him a uh, slot machine. There you go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> One arm bandit. He was money. One arm bandit out there. He's money though. Yeah, he was. He so was. how many? Uh, I don't. I guess. Yeah, how many rounds? You played one round of golf at each place that you went, or did you play multiple? We played two at- rounds. There were two courses, and we played two rounds on each of them. Okay, so, so four. Yeah. So you got total golf. It was Apple Apple Valley was the first one, and uh, Apple Bottom. Rumbling Rumbling Bald was the, rumbling, was the second. Apple Bottoms Rumbling Balls. <laughs> Apple Valley and Rumbling Balls. I just don't see how this was. Now I see why he, we weren't invited, Fred. Yeah. Or Alan. <laughs> I know. Because he's like, hey, guys, let's all rumble like our balls together in the Apple Valley Rumbling games. Rumbling bald. <laughs> Rumbling yeah, it'll balls. be bald by the time you rub it that much. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had a great time. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. Like, and I who? feel – Oh. I uh, I got one more, one more story. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was partnered up with this, uh, one, of, one of the guys named Mark, and – um. He hits an errant drive, I think, yeah. And it kind of landed in the mud. And we didn't, act, you know, you know, you don't see where the ball actually goes. You just know the area. So we we're over there right. looking. And I was like, oh, shit, it's in the mud. I was like, hold on, I'll get it. And I stepped in. And I felt like it was real soft. But I was like, maybe it'll hold me. It'll hold my weight. And then the second step, I pushed down with my foot. But it was, I couldn't. And I, I felt oh, I was going like I was going. It had got up to like my calf, and I could like I stepped really? in quicksand, bro. I stepped in quicksand. Like I felt myself going, and I had to like lay it down, like turn and lay on my stomach, and like hey, hey, out of it. Yeah, hey. dude. Like, you know what? I'm proud of you for listening to the rules. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did. He did exactly what he's he he supposed he, to do. And, he said you look like pitfall. Like, going, like better than that than, being, than oh telling your wife God. that you lost the reason that you didn't come home is because you got lost yeah. in the quicksand on, on fucking three. <laughs> on rumbling ball. Yeah. yeah. Rumbling yeah, ball like, got another one. It just got yeah. soaked in, man. <laughs> you mean, like a blazing saddles. You remember blazing saddles when they yeah. Yeah. Like, get the train, get the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, I was getting sucked in, man. Like, oh, I, I felt myself going, man. And that should have taught you never I, help anyone else ever again. Yeah. Uh, then the, uh, we got back to the, uh, you know, we got done with the round and got back. Back to the sex uh, to dungeon, the yeah. Clubhouse, oh. To the clubhouse. Yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. they have like a little, uh, like a little caddy man. He'll come like wipe your clubs down and take the cart back while you unload. He, he, you down. he, he was like, he was like, hey. <laughs> Where'd you find the mud, son? Like he saw my fucking leg just covered in mud. Where'd you find the mud? And you tell him it was quicksand. Yeah, I told him. Yeah, I was like quicksand on seventeen. Quick mud. That's what it was. Quick mud. Quick there you mud. go. Mud. There you go. Step, stepped in mud, but. Well, so let me ask you a couple more questions, friend. I know you don't want to dwell on it too long, or or you know call out anybody specifically, right. and I'm not trying to get mm-hmm. you to do that. But okay. so I just have some, so if, if Alan and I are going to crash this next year without you, you don't have to invite us. We're okay. just going to show up. Yeah, show not, up. A okay. not a big deal. Yeah. Golf right. clubs in hand. Golf. I only have one golf club. That's all I need. Something yeah, that I got. A, I got a five iron. That's we all you need. Got a five iron. You get, you get a putter and yeah. maybe a seven iron. And I have no intention of putting. Yeah. You're not gonna a put one iron. I have a. I'm a hole in one kind of guy. You're just going to hit the hole in one. 
Hole in one or I'm done. Look at Fred's got this handheld mic. This is crazy to me. Uh, he, wait, what? I just I don't noticed know. that. Yeah, yeah it's weird me out. He, he, anyway, he's doing the golf thing. He is doing the yeah, golf thing. He's doing the golf thing. <laughs> Rolling ball. Welcome some more Back. guests. <laughs> Fresh. Here comes Fred to the up to box number one, fresh bling, from his sex bling, dungeon. Bling, bling, Welcome bling, back bling, to bling, the bling. 2024 Undistinguished Gentlemen's Golf Tournament. Fred said he <laughs> slept great last night when the single light bulb that was suspended from the ceiling went out <laughs> unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. And oh. we've got a sponsor, too. We had a sponsor, too, and our sponsor was PHG. We'll sleep with your sister. And yeah. then make some golf clubs after it. BXG. Yeah. These clubs are made in America and Arizona by Mexican Vietnamese children. <laughs> <laughs> BXG. We do things differently. Not right, Probably not going to sponsor next but year. different. <laughs> Maybe not a sponsor next year now, but you never know. Well, so do you guys, do you do this? Like, I know you do this, obviously, for fun and, to, yeah. and for camaraderie's sake. Right. Yeah. But important to me do you keep score yes is there like a do you like have a pool at the end of the game at the end no, of the pool? we didn't we didn't like, have any money on it we did um so like the way we did it was uh first two rounds it was a uh, stroke play so you sure. just keep up with your own score i bet you it was then, stroke play. a lot of yeah, strokes stroke yeah, a lot of, yeah i bet you wait, wait wait till we get to the scramble uh, I'm glad you kept up with your own strokes and weren't forced to keep up with other dudes' strokes. Yeah, I know. You can't keep up with nobody. You can only count your own strokes. It's true. I stroked it 96 times. First Damn. Round. First that's round. pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, if that's that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, you, you want the lower strokes. You know, some people that's think, more oh, look, he's got more strokes than me. So what is that, what, a 15 better. handicap? That's a 20, right? Almost yeah. a 20 handicap. That's almost twenty. I mean, it's yeah. it's not good, but like, he's at least seventy five percent handicap, Alan. It's better. <laughs> it's better than you know I had been doing. So. Right. Well, you're getting better. So yeah. So you didn't keep you kept score, but only for the sake of bragging rights. Right. And then the third day we did um we we played what well, we played we played like a uh, match play, which is you right. just. You're partnered with the you guy versus the guy with your the closest score, two scores. Okay. You know, so and then like that was kind of like our championship day. Sure. You know, side bets galore. Yeah. No, no, no side bets, no money in it. Cause like the guy that was the I I would have to say the best out there that weekend was uh, a guy named Derek. And he he shot an 81. Yeah, he shot an 80. No, it was an 84. He shot an 84 first day. No, 81 the first day, 84 second day. And, like, I mean, dude's just, he knows how to play golf. You know what I'm saying? Good he's, at golf. He's really good. He's was really he the one arm guy? Golf. No, he was not the one arm. Okay, just checking. Was he was me. the other black guy. He was the one arm man. What I get? What I get? He's the other black guy. I don't guy. care. I don't care. Yeah. He was the one arm guy. I don't care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then uh, we also do a thing um, on the last day. We we do do a closest to the hole challenge. <laughs> and that it's is called Who Can Eat the Cookie? <laughs> so uh, we, we all pick a part three, you know, one part three that we want to uh, do it at. And Oh, I just saw, oh fuck! I forgot. Some more I got to tell you too. Shit. Um, so you so get a part like, three. Whoever, whoever, wait, whoever is closest to the hole. You wait till the middle of the night. No. <laughs> Everybody goes out there with no underwear on. <laughs> and whoever gets closest to the hole, the rest have to clean it up, right? No. I we used to play that all the time. I bet you did. Yeah, it was called. So, Bury the goes to the hole gets your gets know. your next year's trip paid for. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next year. So, like, close have you already hole. determined the trip beforehand, or is it like you decide that the close the guy who's closest, like, we're going to Bali? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. 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 We 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 want to do a Puerto Rico trip, but okay. I think he said maybe twenty thirty. You know. So okay. just give us time. I mean, you're six years, but. The guy who won it last year, uh, 
He gets up to you and he misses it. Everybody misses fucking the, missed it. Misses Nobody the ball the or misses the, okay. Misses the green. They missed okay. the green. Nobody won? Nobody won. And, and some of the guys were like, you know, well, let's carry it over to the, like, no, no, that was it. That's one shot. You get yes, one shot. It's like like it's when you get the card. Shot. Like one shot. Yeah. It's like yeah, Eminem said, yeah. One shot, you know, if we're not carrying it over. So, like, nobody hit the green. Nobody gets the trip paid for. So Sucks for everybody. Um, sucks for everybody. But the, okay, so the house that we stayed at, right, the party house. It was right off of the green, like from the porch. You could see down into the green of uh, 15. Okay. Was the hole. And Lake Lure, that was the green that um, from Dirty Dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lake Lure Lure is where Dancing was shot. I knew that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, it was funny. Like, so after I, we play our rounds, we go sit up on the balcony and drink, talk shit and shit. And uh, I was singing, I people, had the time of my life. Yeah. People would come through, like, when they came through, we would play it. We would play it. So, like, they start walking up to the green and it's, ah, hey, I <laughs> my life. <laughs> so, so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What dude, is- what dude, like, dude, uh, dude, also, he was drunk. He's drunk as shit. And um, there was a, a dude, he walked up to the green. He was just playing by himself, but he had his girlfriend with him. And, uh, like, he puts his ball up there and puts it out. You know what I'm saying? But, like, his first putt, he missed it. And then his second putt, he made it. And as they were walking off the green, because we did have a PA system. And also grabs the microphone. He goes, "If you if you had to hit that putt, I'd have sucked it." <laughs> the hell? Like, if you had to made that putt, I'd have sucked it. And like the girl <laughs> looked up, and she was just like smiling, big grinning, <laughs> and like dude was all like, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> he was all walking off, man. <clears throat> It's like, look at, <laughs> look at unhappy Gilmore. Yeah. Aww. Unhappy. Yes, Gilmore. held that one. You know they held on that that one all week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one that Fred picked up on the way back from last year's trip, and he's like, yeah. Yeah. putting yeah. that in, in the old no, spank I, I did. I came up with that. Um, my buddy, uh, my buddy Austin, he was on the group on on the tee box, and it was a hole over water. And he mm-hmm. fucking hit it into the water twice. <laughs> and I called him on Evan Gilmore. <laughs> like, this is all, I, man. It. I get it. I would be really, mad too. Yeah. No, we had a good time though, man. It's a good time. That's the main thing. Do you want to shout anybody? Yeah, Did anybody yeah. get wasted drunk and you had to take care of them? Do you want to shout them uh, out? Steve? Yeah, well, there was a couple guys that stumbled and fell down. You know. That's going to happen. Drunk. That's a trip. It's a trip. That's it's a trip. Yeah, you know I mean, it's big get it lance. down. I'd big say trip who 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 was the drunkest out of who's the MVP? Let's get the MVP of the trip and MVP. the drunkest of the trip. We'll give it. It's like both we'll are me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna give. I was, I'm gonna give. I was the drunkest, and then I sucked that dude's dick because he made that butt. <laughs> 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 Next year, he's invited. To the uh, yeah, I am. I am. I'm gonna get myself MVP because Saturday. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. Everybody was too drunk to cook cook burgers. That's how. There that's what we was eating that night. And I went out there and I, I yeah. you did it. That's all the day. Hey, you know what? That's dogs. MVP. That's MVP <laughs> material dog. right there. It's MVP yeah, material. Man. Yep. Oh, and that I was agree. good. It was good. We well, also took the hit. I don't give a shout out to Daniel too because he cooked that lasagna. And Great job. Mark, he made that, that breakfast casserole. It's not so like, a food podcast. That was that was not, but like that was my main concern. Like I was like, are we gonna eat? You know what I'm saying? No, I, the only reason I, I the only reason drink. me and Alan would go yeah. is for the food. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Ain't going no yeah. food. We ain't going. Them turn dogs. Mm. I don't know what that is, but it sounds dogs. great. 
It's a hot dog at the turn. Play nine. Oh, okay. Oh, is that a thing? Clubhouse. Yeah, and then you get a hot dog. Ah, uh, so hot we dog only... and a beer. You know what I mean? Uh, ah, okay. There's food out there. There's food. Oh, there's food to be. Do they have the ladies that come around and like, hi, buddy? You need no, to they food? did not oh, have cart man. girls. They did not have cart girls. Cart ladies. Most cart girls. Is that... You don't want no cart ladies. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. I want like an ex lunch lady. Make them cute. It's like, yeah, I mean, no, I want an ugly with a big mole with the hair growing out. Like, yeah, with you the, on a bear, honey. And I'm like, mm-hmm. with the big sure underarm do. flap. Sure yeah, do, I mean, sugar. Yeah, yeah and she flaps it, and that hot. opens the beer. Let me cool yeah. you off. It look hot. Yeah. yeah. With the pencil tattoo of a heart. And she's like, watch yeah. this. I can jump off your balcony and float gracefully down to the 15th hole. <laughs> And just takes her arms flap out and just floats on down. <laughs> like a right. flying squirrel. Yep, just like a flying squirrel. <laughs> She'd be coming around with the cart. I help you. Yeah. I was in dirty dancing, you know. <laughs> I played the dirtiest dancer. Mm. <laughs> Which one are you staying in the sex dungeon? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, well, no, and that's the I thing, mean, Brad. You got to. I, I give you MVP because you took you took one for the team by not getting yeah. as drunk so that you could cook, and then also for getting arguably the shittiest room. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and right. and what instead of putting literally anything in the window, you just let everybody watch. Okay, did <laughs> a question? Did you not get as drunk, or you just decided to do the hamburgers? Even oh, though, no, you yeah, drink? I don't think I did. I didn't get as drunk. I didn't get as drunk. he knew he knew it was he got started getting hungry and he was yeah. like this is gonna go one of two ways because I I mean because that was like I said that was the fourth day yeah that was the fourth okay. day so yeah you, you and, had like, had, and I had been drunk you know what I'm saying like you had your fun by then so yeah yeah like I, yeah, after I gonna... cooked I know after I cooked I ate and then I went took a nap. Yeah till about seven thirty the MVP it was like material five. right there. Yeah I was like yeah it was about yeah. five and then then Once I stayed blew. up the rest of the night and I got drunk again. Right. And see, that's that's what that that's yeah. how that benefits you. Mm-hmm. And you like burger, snap, back to the drinking. Good yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you had a great time. Really good. Yeah, I'm glad really you good. uh went and I'm glad that you're back. And I'm glad, Alan, that we don't have to go. Yep. And he can tell us about out. my hair is gonna be grown out by next year, Fred. So if you guys need like really? a lady. You know, just to <laughs> spice it up a little bit. Uh-uh. I, don't want you to, I don't want you to feel like the whole trip's gay. We're good. Not if there's anything wrong yeah. with that. <laughs> you, guys take, you guys taking nope. it in June of next year? Hell no. We don't fucking go in the summer. We're going in the heat. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we, got it. we got there. <laughs> Worth it. I did that. Funny. I came up with that joke last year when he did the, when he told us about it. <laughs> Been sitting on it ever since. That one joke is great. God damn it. Ah. God damn it. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break so that Fred can rearrange his balls. Get it? Yeah. And we'll be right back with more of the Black Collective Podcast. Welcome back to the 160th edition of the Black Lightning Collective Podcast. We're so glad you, you're still with us. We're so glad we're still with you, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Oh, Lots going on. Fred took a, like I said, Fred left the state as he is legally allowed to do once a month, That's right. once a yep. year, once a year, not twice a year. Yeah, once once a twice year. a year now. You yeah. move yeah. Yeah. once, yeah. once without my wife. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlimited now amount of times with your family. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but only once, not with them. So <laughs> he made it back. But Fred, while you were gone, it appears that all hell has broken loose across this. The pop culture landscape that we cover on this show oh. consistently. <laughs> yes. Got it. Love that we pop culture. Right. Pop, pop, pop. Like I said, pop, 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 pop video. video. Yeah. I was going to go on that. Uh, I was going to go on that. Uh, the dating show? The game show? No, the game show. Oh. Uh, what was it? Super, the or pop. Remote, super pop? Yeah. Or remote it's control? Like super Bowl. No, it's like the, the one World Series of Pop Culture. World oh, Series okay. of Pop Culture. Yeah, what was, no, it was the, what was the one that was in a pop. cab. That was Cash Cab. Cash Cab. Yeah. Cash Cab. Yeah, cash, cash Cab was good, man. Yeah, I would go on Cash Cab. Like I think cash. that's a fun. That's a fun idea. Yeah. You know, cash, well, I, I imagine like in between. Super. My thing was like, I wonder if like there somebody would get in. Like, let's say one of us got in. 
Yeah. And like, you know, I'm a little drunk, probably. And like, not like, let's say as attractive as some of the people that would be on there. Right. I right. wonder if they're like, just drive him where he needs to go. Don't yeah. tell him that you're. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, it, let the, don't, don't put off the, the, the cash flow. Right. Don't, don't tell him you're an international yeah, superstar yeah, or whatever your name is. Like you. Yeah, so my case would like, be like, just take him where he needs to go. Yeah, they're yeah, like, Shit. so he's like, half the day I'm just a fucking taxi driver, <laughs> and the other half of the day I get to do this is ridiculous. Yeah. So I just I just thought crazy. that was a cool show, but yeah, I would love to go on any of those shows. I'm trying to get mm-hmm. us on, um, and I we just need to get make the time for it because he keeps inviting us on. The, there's a guy out of Pennsylvania who does a trivia show, yeah. and he's he does a really good job, and so we'll get we'll try to get on that. It's a three person. Didn't we I, go? Oh, on? Okay. No, we never. We were gonna go on it. We never went on it because reasons. I went on it, and I lost. And it's is it the, 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 the podcasting started. whatever thing was it that guy? Yes. Yeah. International Day. Yeah. Yeah. International yeah. 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 Uh, that guy. Oh, okay. So the guy we did International Pie, Fred, you yeah. weren't there. That day. Fred, you weren't there. there. You you yeah. bailed on us. You were. I think you might have been on your trip. I'm yeah. You. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. yeah. You might have. <laughs> it always works. It always does. So there's nothing they can do once you when you, if you don't show up, there's nothing they can do. You gave me the wrong email address. You gave me the wrong link. Yeah. 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 Reasons, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So anyway, Fred, like I was saying, yeah. all hell's yeah. broken loose. Yeah. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria, Fred. Yeah. And first it starts with us losing a great one. Losing arguably, probably, in my opinion, and maybe I'm wrong, but one of yeah. the defining voices of the last what oh, 60 yeah. years? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, six the years decade, ago, was, oh, yeah. the century, man, of oh, the century. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know how a hundred years is a long time. Yeah, well, he's the yeah. but I mean, I mean of course, voice in we're talking about the ever awesome, super cool looking guy, James Earl Jones. Yeah, he was awesome. JG. Passed Thank away. You. He was what, 92, 93. So great guy. Yeah, I think was Darth Vader. Yep. 93 Foster. years old. And, uh, you know, he was uh, the, the king in. Uh, yep. Now coming to America. Coming to America. He, he was the dad. Yeah. He Joffa. Yeah. Joffa. Yeah. Yeah. Joffa. yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, let them wait. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking to my son. <laughs> yeah, so, man. Is there, he, I, I seen him do uh, uh, it's a movie Fences, but it was the stage play. Denzel played in the movie nah. and like phenomenal job. But I saw a clip of him and Courtney B. Vance uh, in the stage play Fences and powerful shit man i mean that dude moves you oh yeah delivered, dude he delivered yeah. you know yeah. he's a phenomenal actor dude, yeah, yeah, he, sure. he had the most iconic lines in, in field of dreams yeah oh. he really did yeah. ray i'm not your father yeah. <laughs> said, that's my favorite ray i'm not your father <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't yeah, sell he, it, ray don't sell it ray yeah, don't sell it don't do it ray he was in Doctor Strange Love. Of course, he was also the bad guy in Conan the Barbarian, which oh, is a, show yeah, that's that's right. a movie yeah, that was very yeah. close to, to our hearts. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, so I mean, you got to love the guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything bad to say about him. No, nah, mm-hmm. Hall of Famer for sure. The Hall of Fame is growing exponentially. Yeah, but that's okay because you know what? That's just how many great people there are, Fred. Yeah, I mean, it, it really, it's a really small list if you think about it. I say it's growing exponentially. But when there's six point something billion people, and we have what, like six what, people seven, in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, six, yeah, seven, six seven. seven. We probably need to up those numbers a little bit, yeah. realistically. Yeah. <laughs> we probably need to up those numbers. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> I'm saying, what, if one, okay, all I'm saying is if one in a billion people right. are in the Hall of Fame, and some, they're, most of them are dead, so right. yeah. they're really not even on yeah. counted, then <laughs> we should try and get some more people in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, we should get some live ones in there. This isn't baseball, Alan. Yeah. yeah well, okay, we should try to get some. You, you, what you we need to do is uh, once a year, like our like once a, a year. end of the year show. We should. Are you going to you know petition? You going to petition OJ again, Alan? Yeah, every year. I'm, I'm going to try, man. <laughs> I always get bossed out. Petition trying to get OJ in. The I try, man, but it, I don't understand why you guys won't do it, man. <laughs> 
soon enough. We got it. You can't. He can't be a first ballot. Uh, just because first- of the controversy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be a first round ballot. He yeah, like, can't be a first round ballot. <laughs> right. You got to. He's got to wait it out. He's got to. He's going to be like Barry Bonds. <laughs> it's going to be a minute. He's going to get in. Yeah. With, like, is Barry yeah, Bonds going to get? I know this isn't a baseball show, but Alan, you're a baseball guy. Is Barry Bonds going to get into the Hall of Fame? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think so. so. I, I think, think Pete Rose should be in too. If Pete Rose yeah. should. Have, he, I don't understand. You know the the he, dude that got the fifty. Be killing himself though, man. That, that dude he that just hit the fifty himself. whatever home runs and fifty whatever. Shohei Otani. Yeah, oh, he did what Pete Rose yeah. did. He did. Yeah, no, his yeah, no his he did and his he translator did it. Yeah, yeah right. Pete, well, Pete Rose should have had a translator. <laughs> he did. <No. laughs> it was his bookie. <laughs> well, yeah, but you gotta, you know, that's how it goes, man. So anyway. R.I.P. James Earl Jones. Yeah, James Earl Jones. He is our father. Yep. I can't say it. He's Simba. I, 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 Simba. Simba. He's Mustafa. Yeah, I, say it again. Mustafa. I wish we could have him on the show. I wish if Everything he, that the light if is. at some point, Fred, Yeah. and I, I'm suspending belief because I fully believe that James Earl Jones is a good guy. He probably right. went up. But if yeah. he by chance went down for some reason Ooh, we don't know about, don't know. and our friend... Who visits the show quite often? Oh, no. Not tonight. <laughs> you're gonna talk, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna talk him up. If he yeah. was to come visit, and maybe we could get via him, we yeah. could get James Earl, you know, just to see how it's going. Gonna, what is he gonna? Uh, what are you possessive or? I mean, he's gonna, he, gonna, well, I mean, he's got. I don't know if they're mics in hell. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Yeah, yeah, it works you know? I assume it's. I assume it's Bluetooth because it's got to be the most frustrating one. And when you're trying to set up a new Bluetooth thing and there's no instruction how to do it, it's so frustrating. Yep. So that's why I stay in this. Just you yeah, have to, but that's the thing. If yeah, you want to, if in hell, yeah. Yeah. If you're in hell, you have to set up a new device every time you use a phone. <laughs> so that's why Satan's always combative when he comes on because he's like, I spent 20 minutes setting this bitch up <laughs> every time. Now my pictures won't pour it over. Right. Yeah. Now, <laughs> every, it never turns down the music. Yeah. Damn, Apple always making me put my password in. Right. I just, yeah. And then it says it's the wrong password, even yeah. though I just put the right one in there. I, so I try to change it, right and it says word. you cannot use the current password. Yeah. And you're like, no. <laughs> All right, so anyway, James Earl Jones, he was paid $7,000 to be Darth Vader's voice. Yeah, be the voice of Vader, yeah. That's Seven crazy. That's, and you know that it was 19, he, what, 77? 77? 77. And before he died, he gave his rights away so that people could use it after his Oh, death. they could use his voice? Yes. Really? Oh, shit, we got to do that. How do we do yeah. that? Yeah. Well, let's well, look into that, uh, yeah. someone. Something. Yeah, he gave he, he, he tech team him. wherever you are. <laughs> so team. okay, well, the tech team is where is off. They're off forever. <laughs> yeah. they get, we can only afford to have them one. Just yeah. like Fred, Fred can only leave the state once a year. We can only have the tech team one show a year. Yeah, one show a year. And they we never to, show. Uh, them. We That's already can afford. Them. Yeah. Pay them in advance. I like to try and save them for Christmas, but you know that way we can ruin their Christmas. Yeah, and make them do work at the same time. So it's good times. Well, I, well, speaking of ruining things, no. Fred, mm-hmm. all of Diddy's music has been ruined for me. <laughs> Not that I, in fairness, I didn't listen to him. Previously. I was about to say, but there was that one song. What was that one song that he did with? Like, it was like, uh, was it a Led Zeppelin or somebody like he where he took? Well, he did uh, the Godzilla, uh, the Godzilla, yeah, yeah, right? With like the dun, 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 who's yeah, that yeah. Leonard Skinner, Led Zeppelin, something like that. Yeah, that song was Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, that was the Godzilla soundtrack. I, I, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, that was tight. Yeah, Puffy, Puffy, been had his hands in music since what early nineties. Yeah. So, like, right. yeah, I mean. If you grew up in the nineties, you heard Puff. I mean, Puff. Yeah, Daddy, oh yeah, it was yeah. intimately Diddy, familiar. Daddy Love, or whatever else he want to call himself. Sean Combs, right? That's his real but, name. Uh, his ass is fucked now, oh, <laughs> for yeah. lack of better words. He, he, he you know what? Done, dude. I don't know, man. Nah, Honestly, I, I think basically, if this was, if it was me, you know, I think he's he, he's done, but he's not done. 
Yeah. I, I because basically the government's got everything they need to blackmail yeah. every motherfucker out there. Right. They're just gonna put them in prison for a couple of years and let them yeah. go. That is, I no, I think it's, I think it's a little deeper. I got my conspiracy theories about it, but like I think, I think he's he's the new Epstein. Because I think that's what Uh-oh. they had Epstein for. He's a black Epstein? Yeah, he's a black Epstein. He's a black Stein. And, uh, <laughs> Dude. He, they were going to, they were trying to flip Epstein. Right. And, and I think that's why Epstein died. You know what I'm saying? Because they Got knew it. they was going to flip him and he was going to give it up. So they killed him for it. And now I think they're going to do the same with Puff. Well, I mean, you see, but that- I think Epstein had all the government people. And yeah, diplomats and Puff has all the high profile like Hollywood people, right? So but all of them, they're they're bald. all them worlds, all them worlds are entangled. You know what I'm saying? Them two worlds are entangled. Yeah, but dude, they, like, they're all bought. Basically, it's like, hey, uh, uh Sam Elliott, uh, yeah, what's that in your mouth? Hell, yeah. <laughs> you know, what's that in your mouth? <laughs> what's that growing on your lip there? Buddy? Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, man. I mean. And that's the thing about it, like everybody's got tapes, you know what I'm saying? And right, right. It's ironclad. They, it's got, not they like... got the receipts, yeah. They yeah, got the receipts, damn. man. Like, there's no yeah. way he's not. You Boy, know, there's so many was, celebrities was... who are dude, and like Odell Beckham right. Jr. And you seen that video yeah. with Bieber and, 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 and Bieber? Yeah. Bieber? Oh my god. No, dude, like, yeah. have you really seen that Parker? Oh, it's you don't the, want it. Oh, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the innuendo because you can't see nothing. You can't see but, nothing. Like, but he was not snorting coke. Yeah. Oh, was, is that the one where they're like in the club or whatever? Yeah. Like, okay, I did. I think I did see that. Yeah. That's, 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 I mean, that's it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy so, man. so he's that. So he's going away. Like, yeah, he's going away, man. Yeah, he's going away. And that, and but like, for what? Because I don't know if they. They haven't released any charges. I've I've seen the affidavit, and it just talks about like talks about sex trafficking, like right. uh, which is bad, which is bad. Yeah, for the re- just for the record on the show, flying in prostitutes and yeah. male and female prostitutes. Um, it talks about um, like him beating okay. his girlfriend. Good stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah, like are they getting him just, for all that? See, I thought it was something simple, like what they did to Al Capone. You know, all these other charges, really, they're not like we, we ain't worried about this. We're just gonna get you for this one thing. Well, well, with Capone, it was what they could prove. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't really prove <laughs> anything else except tax evasion. So that's what they got his ass on. And uh, but like with this, they saying um. See, I don't think they're gonna. Yeah. I don't well, like think you said they got receipts. Them. Like they can. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think they're gonna get them for all that. Just like they did with Epstein. Interstate think, transport for purposes of prostitution, coercion. I don't think. See, I don't think they're gonna do nothing. Honestly, I think the government's gonna be like, "We got everything we need to get off of you." You know, just rot in jail for a couple of years and get out of here. Nah. Then, do what you they know. did to R. Kelly, didn't. Where yeah, but, R- Kelly but 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 R- yeah, Kelly. but R. Kelly didn't. Have, but R. Kelly didn't have videos of Sam Elliott <laughs> with something. Right? In his- <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know why he's Sam saying. Elliott. I don't know why you are either. Did he was he in part of this? <laughs> was no. he? Yeah, I was about to say, does he really have? Because I don't no. want to get him into. Like, <laughs> don't I don't want to get Elliott on his bad side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but naked with a cowboy hat and mustache. Allegedly, that right? <laughs> okay, he said, I don't think it doesn't seem like there's any connection just for the record. No, no. <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> it was just, you know, <laughs> you knew for a fact there. that you knew for a fact Elliot. that OBJ may be part of this, and you yeah, were like, yeah. I'm just gonna pick on like Sam the Elliot. least likely guy oh, that yeah. can do this. The coolest guy in Hollywood, I'm gonna pick on right. <laughs> you talk about his mustache and fucking yeah. having herpes on his lip. <laughs> Some people call him Diddy. Some people call him Puppy. (laughs) I call him the dude. (laughs) I just call him the dude with the baby oil. Yeah, I just call him the dude with the baby oil. That's crazy, man. Well, that's insane, man. So, so safe to say, this is probably 
last we'll hear yeah. of Diddy, for at least for a little him, while. They got him locked up without bail. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't even they, give him bail. But well, they can't oh, give him bail, dude. He's got too well, much he, money. Yeah, he, 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 he's a flight risk. Yeah, he's a flight risk. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, he's got like just multiple like, jets. Just like Russell, Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons left the country and came back. Right. Yes. He, yeah, yeah, he, he like in Belize. Yeah, he ain't coming back. He's no, he not coming back. Would you? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh-uh. There you go. Well, oh. and it wasn't in what Russell Simmons did. Ain't nothing compared to Diddy. nothing compared to what Puffy did. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. What What did Russell Simmons do? He's just beating on people and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Or okay. like Me Too uh, type deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Beating on the ladies. Mm-hmm. Well, you still don't want to go to jail, and if you have the means to be oh. like, I'm not gonna go. Then like, yeah. you gotta do what you gotta no, do. I, I I think Puff thought. I think I think he thought that he was gonna get bail. That's why he turned himself in. I really think. Yeah. He, well, I no, think, because they said that they was coming for him Saturday. They told him they was like, yeah, we'll they told him Saturday that, you know, we're coming yeah. to get like, you. All right, I'll wait. For yeah, you. they popped up on Friday. Yeah, but still, if you tell me you know you're gonna I mean? be there on Saturday, no I'm no leaving on Wednesday. I'm if, I don't right think now. I'm. I'm you know, if, right. you know, I oh, think he thought that he was gonna yeah. get out. He I think wouldn't. He, he wouldn't have gotten away. They had eyes on it. You know what I mean? They was They expected that. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way he could have got away if he just started heading toward the airport. They'd have pulled his ass open, got him in. You know what I mean? He yeah, would have been like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> He'd been in the car. I told you that we won't stop. I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> Just keep driving. Uh, oh, yeah, man. So, well, so, bye. Bye, puppy. Bye, and that's puppy. a shame because, I mean, yeah. I mean, I tell you. He, he's talented. I mean, when it comes to music-wise, sure. he was talented. Yeah. That, um, that R. Kelly Puff Daddy tape going to be hot. Ooh yeah! Yeah, they gonna make Ooh. music and check. Check Yeah, there's gonna be a remix there. There you go. Yeah, you know, look under the cabinet and see a midget for sure now. <laughs> I saw a meme. Well, I saw I saw uh, the video of uh with Art with Gail. Remember Gail interviewed R. Kelly, and yeah. uh, somebody <laughs> somebody fucked with the uh, video because it was the part where he was like, "They stay a whole time, people." <laughs> I don't know how to hold time, nobody. <laughs> and he goes, he holds up. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> he was all crying. I don't know how to hold time, people. <laughs> a fucking AI is awesome. Oh my yeah, God. AI he is crazy. That well, rope and just smile. I said, "Oh my God, he's stupid." So yeah, we're gonna wait for the uh, like I said, the P Diddy and R Kelly remix to come out. Oh yes, Damn. and what could be the comeback of the century, Fred? Yep. I don't think yep. you can like download or listen to that without being like a really bad person. I don't know how that works at that point because they're doing their time. Yeah, it's what? hard. To, I mean, like I, I still like R. Kelly music, but like, right? You don't want nobody to hear you listening to it, like, right? Right. Like you said, <laughs> you got to listen yeah. to it in the closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, remember that video he did? The, yeah, it was like a whole fucking movie, man. That's what the it was like up. 23 parts, man. That yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> like, so we'll it wait was on the, the midget, midget, midget. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, <laughs> under the, the sink. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? Big Mike, I think his name yeah. was Big Mike. He knocks the pick up. Like... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, we'll wait for that comeback. But here's another comeback, Fred, that All hasn't right. been so great. Fred, yeah. are you have you heard of a lady named Katy Perry? I have heard of Katy Perry. Yeah, Alan, I you probably Spirit. heard of her too. Yeah, I've heard of her. Katie's well, she was once one of the world's biggest pop stars. Yep, she was. But her new album, which was her comeback album, has been plagued by controversy and failed singles. Oh, yeah. yep. Here's why. Or here's why she stumbled and what it says about music yeah. today. I'm not going to read all this because there's a lot. But needless to say, <laughs> in July, two months after its release, it was difficult to, I don't know, everything sucks. Everything about her sucks. Did it, it, and, did it flop? It, yeah, apparently it, it, did, did it just flop? didn't do very well. It said yeah. they felt it was too feminist and it was fatally undermined by her choice of collaborator, 
who was Luke Luke Ags Godwalt, better known as Doctor Luke. I don't know who that is. Doctor Luke, like Luke Skywalker. I guess from Two Life Crew. <laughs> That would have been awesome if it had been Luke yeah. Skywalker from Two Life Crew. <laughs> I'm telling you, what killed her was uh, American Idol, man. She's been yeah. on American Idol for what, ten years? You get out of the game. Yeah, she's out. That's the game, what you do man. when you're like, when you're done. Yeah, she ain't you know? hungry no more. Yeah, American what, killed Idol, her, what killed her was when she went against them nuns. It's hard to go against nuns. <laughs> Hard to go against the nuns. Yeah, yeah, she even her, her, even her Super Bowl she, was she killed. She, yeah. killed the, she kicked the nuns out of the nunnery. <laughs> shit like out that. of the nunnery. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get thee to a nunnery. Yeah, get out of the nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery. Get thee to a nunnery. So, well, Katy Perry. I feel bad for Katy. I don't hate Katy Perry, but I do agree with you yeah. that you kind of there's like a point in your career where yeah. you're like. All right, I'm like no longer relevant. No, or I'm, I mean, I'm, I've decided I don't want to be relevant anymore, and I just want to like exist. And that's yeah. when you get on the shows. And but I wonder if she really wanted to do an album, or she was forced by the record label to do it. You might have, she might have owed him one. Yeah, she might yeah owed you know, because like you said, she was yeah. a American Idol. She was already, yeah, you, she know, said. you know, her yeah. legacy was already before. Now her right. legacy is fucked up in a way. Yeah. I mean, not really, but you know. I mean, she, well, care, I mean, she right? was pretty famous. Yeah, I mean, it's not like she still got hits. You know what I mean? They still play her fucking shit. It's twenty years old. You know yeah, but that's the right, right. You right. Know what I mean? mean? Hits is the yeah. The well, on, on Metacritic, it has a thirty-five, and Rolling Stone calls the album a hollow effort to reclaim relevance. Damn, mm-hmm. and if Rolling Stone did that, that's it's gonna be awful. Hey, Ro- Rolling Stone ain't like, got the way it used to. No, that's what yeah, I'm that's true. Yeah, Rolling yeah. Stone really doesn't say nothing negative about anybody except right. Trump. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. if they say something negative about her, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. It's got to be bad if they're going to be like, ah, right. we're not going to stick sure. with this one either. We usually mm. stuck everybody's dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like this is where we draw the line. Yeah, this is where we draw the Sorry, line. Sorry, Katie. So, well, that's crazy, man. Like I said, who? I, Maybe she's done. I don't know. She, she, she's she done. She's done. Only fans. There you go. She I heard yeah. she make a lot of money on it. She probably could. I mean, does she need? But that's the well, thing, man. They, they like, does saying, she need money? Look, she's got to be worth. They were saying the top ten earners million. of OnlyFans made more than all the players in the NBA to put together. I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. Yeah, I don't believe I don't it either. But that's how much money they're talking See, about. See, now you're gonna make me look up the fucking <sighs> payment. Uh, he does this every week, ladies and gentlemen. He's like, I'm gonna make Matt fuck up his algorithm. Okay, top ten OnlyFans earners. Uh, okay, at least I don't have to go to OnlyFans to get there. Okay. All right. So I just said I made that shit up. You did well. The okay. So the you're not wrong though. Bella Thorne, who's the number one OnlyFans person, makes eleven million dollars a month. A so month going to wrestler. That's what it says. Monthly earning. Uh, I can. Just, she's an actress, musician, and model. And I guess she just joined. Whatever. I don't know. She got onto it in 2019, and super rich. Cardi B is number two, with 9.5 million a month. God damn. Uh, no. And well, Katy Perry should be the only fan. Yeah, she's yeah, she worth should. 350. Four ninety nine a month is how much. Uh, Iggy Azalea is three at nine point two million a month. I wouldn't pay for that. Hers is twenty five bucks a month. Coco Austin, who I don't even know who that is, American model, actress, and TV personality, is coming in at nine million a month. A month. A month. Mia That's Khalifa, insane. who is from what I have read only on here and have never heard of her before now, is yeah. a pro, a corn star. Uh, yes, the one that ate some dog shit. Sure, maybe six point five. So I mean, they're making money, man. Six point five million dollars a month. Boy, you know, well, shit. If she can, if they're making six point five, I can make like sixty five dollars a month on OnlyFans. Yeah, oh, you could definitely. Yeah, so that'd be great for me. That'd be great for me. Well, whip it out and do what happens. Do what you got to do, man. Shit, why not? I mean, that's the thing. You all you gotta do is wear a mask, Fred. No one will know it's you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go back 
Well, and you know what? In no time, I know that team with the afro. In no time <laughs> rusty, at all, that rusty half a beard. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, Caleb be like, I know that birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> No, in no time at all, though, Fred, you'll be able to buy that sex dungeon you spent last weekend. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, it would have been bad if it had a TV down there. Like, if it had a TV, ah, down there, yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, it's scary, you know. That's the thing. No, that, that, they that's had a TV, but it was like one of them TV com- VCR combos. Oh, uh, you can't trust TV that. VCR. Like, you, you, you remember the little one that the yeah. tech yeah. would have? They had it like mounted to yeah. the wall, and I was like, what the fuck. They didn't even have like VHS tapes down there. Like, yeah, exactly. Who's gonna? That's where they show. Like, that's where they show snuff films, Fred. Yeah, yes. that's what it's that's snuff right. films. Which brings me to this week's sponsor of the show, Fred. <laughs> it's new from Jergens. That's right, Fred. Every week we're doing a new pumpkin spice themed Jergens product, and new from Jergens, Fred, pumpkin spice VHS tapes. <laughs> the only place to watch them. Is at the cabin that Fred stayed at the cabin in the basement. <laughs> so enjoy pumpkin spice flavored VHS tapes. I don't know if they're flavored or they smell that way. You have to lick them. I don't know how it all works. Mm, scratch and sniff. But it is pumpkin spice time, Fred. And I'm getting there, but it's it not. It eliminates pumpkin spice in the television. Right. But so, Fred, pumpkin spice got me thinking because, again, our friends at Jurgens, Jurgens, whip it out, Fred, for OnlyFans. So make us some money, friend. Do what you got to do. I would show my feet, but no one wants to see that shit. I'll do that. I'll show my feet. Yeah, why not? Well, I'm sure somebody does. No, no, no one wants to see. No one wants to see this. I'm sure somebody. I don't even want to see. Somebody wants to see my feet. It's gonna be weird. It would be weird to know though that like if they're like, oh, a bunch of dudes are like, I'm gonna make that. uh, I'm gonna gonna take a picture of my foot and then like, but I'm gonna draw like a smiley face on the big toe. On the bottom yeah. of the big toe, so and they can't identify. Gonna the, yeah, that's gonna be my profile pic. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Send me foot pics. Send Fred foot pics on, on, on Twitter, <laughs> and he'll put them on his, his foot man. only fans. I'm just gonna be foot man. Foot man foot. You wanna see my foot? Call me Robert Manfoot. Feet, Bounty feet hunter. Feet are weird, man. Feet are gross. Feet are weird. Anyway, so Fred. Feet are spooky. Feet get you going. Pumpkin spice is spooky. Fall is spooky. And Fred, it's finally uh, October, which means is. it's the spookiest season. Yeah. So, Fred, what spirit, we did, what Alex, Spirit what Halloween Alex, time. That's right. Yeah, they're popping up everywhere, baby. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. Fred, what Alan and I did, well, what I did, and what Alan thought did. about it, huh. is I talked to our old friends at AI. Oh, yeah. And they. Explain. I asked them to to summarize some movie plots for you guys to try and figure out some horror movie plots. So I have four, four, and they uh, AI said I will do this for you, but I will do it as a five year old would explain it. Okay. So I will try to speak in my best five year old voice. Oh, but right for you. This is going to be hard to do for you guys, just so you know. Okay, so here we go. I have four of these, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll wrap it. Uh, but okay, so first, there's this first movie where a man who talks funny becomes very smart because he played video games. At first, he's nice and kind, but then he turns into bit mean and can do magic things with his mind. It's like he becomes a superhero, but no, not one you want to play with. Lawnmower man. Ah, yeah, uh, got yeah. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Wow. Well, good job, guys. Yep. In the next movie, there are these guys who catch spooky things. There's a green ghost, <laughs> and they have these big, funny Go looking on. machines that twap the ghost. The Go men on. wear special outfits and save the city from becoming super scary and haunted. <laughs> Bush like Cassidy and the Sun Man <laughs> Ghostbusters, that's right. <laughs> Ghostbusters uh, is correct. A close second was Bush Cassidy and the they're not hard, but they're fun. So there's another movie where a scary man with a weird face comes into people's dreams. And when they sweep, he tries to get them and it's super scary. Everyone tries to stay awake, but somehow his bad stuff happens in the real world too, even though he's only in the dreams. Uh, I mean, which Freddy Krueger? No, but which one? 
Yeah, no, Dream Warriors? Three. Is that Dream Warriors? Dream Warriors? No, it's not Dream Warriors. You're close. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Night, it's Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, two. Don't know why. It's very generalized, but that's the, uh, that's what happened. And last one, and then we'll see if you can get this one's pretty easy, I think. They're, they're all pretty easy. We'll, we may do this with a little more mm. um, present. Let's, what do you call it? Presentation. No, not presentation. Mm-hmm. Uh, pre-work. Doing work before. What do you call it? Preparation. That's the thing. Pre- right, anyway, doing pre-work. Work. <laughs> Let's do some, doing we're work. not good at this, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-work. We're, we're one hour in, and the rails have fallen off. <laughs> now, it's this movie, Fred, and it's about a girl who climbs out of a really scary well. People watch a tape with weird pictures, and after watching it, they get a phone call, which is very creepy nowadays. <laughs> and it's about a curse, and it makes you shiver thinking about it. Uh, the omen. The, no, it ain't the omen. <laughs> the ring. No, it ain't the ring. It's the omen. It's the it's, it's the, the omen. Entry. It's the sexist. No, it's the sexist. It, I wish it was the sexist. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I didn't mean to say sexist. Oh my god, I, I, that's, that's a real thing. Thing. I know that's a real thing. It's <laughs> oh, you know that's a real yeah, thing. That's only, real that's only fan somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that oh, probably yeah. makes that's eight million dollars too. a year. You can only get the sexist on videotape. Yeah, like, that's, that's how old that is. Yeah, VHS <laughs> or beta. Sexist right came out in 1974. Oh yeah. <laughs> And there's a game now also called The Sexorcist. <laughs> the Sexorcist. Okay, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of that, which is great. So there you go. So Alan, Alan, in hell. Yeah, no. So was I right? <laughs> yeah, it was the, it was the ring. Yeah. Oh, it was the yeah. ring. Okay. Yeah, she came in, she climbed out of a scary well. Yeah, so it's Fred, we're going to try and do something fun and thank her like uh, Halloween, scary Halloween. every week for Halloween. So if you have anything Halloween. scary, if you have anything scary? Oh, we had a uh, we have one uh, listener recommend, and I agree with him. I think this would be great uh, that we do a uh, show from an escape room where we yeah. like we the three of us try to do the escape room and record it right, right at the same time. Yeah, can you, I'm in. Can I think right. can you do that. Can you record yeah. an escape room. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. We can go I mean, we're not gonna like videotape. I mean, I guess we could videotape it. Yeah, well, we it'd be a lot of work. Yeah, we could record do it. Uh, would be. No, you just we, you, we could just, just wear GoPros. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well GoPros. start that OnlyFans, Fred. <laughs> we, can buy the GoPros. we can buy the GoPros. If you then you can to use them. The Black League Collective podcast. Do a live or do a podcast from an escape room. Donate to the Patreon. Right. Put it on the Patreon. Put it on the Give Patreon. us enough money for three GoPros. Matt won't share it with us, but no, it'll I be won't. on the Patreon. I won't because I'm the only one. <laughs> Now, due to some things that have changed recently, the only person yeah, that's that right, we just got one. We're right. down to one. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one donating to our Patreon right now, you son of a bitch. He still has to go to. So there you go. Now you know. Okay. Oh, Sorry, because I'm signed up to the highest tier. I'm getting my money's worth and more. Sign up to our Patreon right now. Please. 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 I tried to get my kid to sign up to it. I got him a Patreon gift card. He won't even sign up to my show. Anyway, now, nah, uh, you know, give it a Mr. Beast. Yeah, yeah he's like, oh. Beast, yeah. He's like, I can give it to any of this Fortnite guy. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, give it to a Fortnite guy. Yeah, that's how it goes. But anyway, well, Fred, yes. Yeah, so anything you have, yeah. any ideas that anybody has that they yeah, want to man. do, let's do it. We have, we should go to Mad World. Yeah, on an attraction. Mad, yeah, Mad World has the escape room. And we just need yeah. to get we'll get some GoPros. Oh, they have an escape room there? Perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. We can make we can do it in the middle of the day. We'll just tape our phones to our heads. Huh? Right. So oh, so they see what we see. I think yeah. it should shouldn't it be turned around so it's like looking at us. Oh no, those are weird. Because then That's you get weird. that movement yeah. where it's like if you're running. Yeah, we're not running. It's an escape. It's not like you actually know, have to escape like, the room. Have you ever done an escape room, Fred? Yes, I have. Yeah, I've only done one. like like I'm going to run with like twelve people, right. and it was horrible. Yes, that's too many. People. There was too many people. It was too many, yeah, too many, many people. people. You know, three yeah. is a good number. My wife and right. I did one together, and we were immensely. I'm going to say immensely successful. 
probably you know not as she's much better at it than i am of course right so but it was super fun when there's like scary part i had an axe right. at one point it was Ooh. great we did i think it was like lizzie board we had to prove that lizzie borden did it we found the axe yeah oh oh don't uh, want to spoil it any she did yeah. it you guys so it's too late now but we we solved that mystery fred wow for yeah. sure but put that one to bed and i burned the yeah. escape room down on the way out so i was like we solved it Cold case. no need to do this anymore <laughs> burn it down <laughs> so anyway yeah so we'll do it i, I think that's a great idea yeah, be good. You know, now that it's getting cold, we won't be able to do any more golf outings, Blackling Collective golf outings. But, yeah. you know, it's fine. It's fine. Also, we got stickers. I forgot to bring them in. But we have stickers. If you want some stickers, yep. you just send them to me. The great thing about these stickers, Fred, is that yeah. they may or may not immediately fuck up as soon Damn. as they get rained on. That's we'll see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that's why they're free. So reach out to the show and I will send you some stickers. stickers. Great stickers. The BLC you in hell stickers. Yep. Little little, uh, skeleton. The best skeleton face. Yeah, whatever they call it. (laughs) Skeleton. It is a skeleton. It's yelling. He's screaming at you and saying BLC you in hell because he's a skeleton. I'll put it on my. Yeah, that's what it's going to cover your whole thing. Look at that. I got them all. Yeah, you got a lot there. All right. Anyway, well, thanks for listening, everybody. Well, look at Fred's water bottle. I like stickers. Listen to the Sexorcist on VHS. Yep. Pumpkin Spice VHS. <laughs> and you know what? Go ahead and frequent your local sex dungeon. They need all the help. COVID really put sex, put a hit on the sex dungeon <laughs> industry. <laughs> Fred. So those of us who run, who may or may not allegedly run a sex dungeon <laughs> are hurting right now. So you know what I'm saying? So do, do us all a favor. And just, you know, patronize your local sex dungeon. Yes, please do. <laughs> They're going to love it. They're going to love it. It's not as scary as you think. It's not as scary. Yeah, it's more fun than you it's think. Not, it's more fun. Yes. So get in the Halloween spirit, Fred. Yeah. Put some. Put a pumpkin spice dildo in your anus. <laughs> you got to prime it first. That's right. You got to prime the pump. Yeah, prime, prime the pump. Prime the pump. All right. Anyway, we'll, we'll get out of here. Pump's been primed. We'll see you next week. A new episode of, of whatever the fuck we call the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>